if people choose to believe and be convinced that sujood is to physically prostrate and they physically prostrate i've said before that i'm not saying that it is wrong to do that if you choose to develop your conviction in your obedience to god's words if it helps you to stay connected with the lord then by all means prostrate the discussion today was what does sujood mean in the quran sujood in the quran is about something else as we've discussed so if that helps you then by all means what we have to understand is that our lord needs nothing our lord needs nothing from us our lord is self sufficient self sustaining infinite whatever we do is for us whatever god has guided us towards is for our benefit and so if you choose to undertake physical rituals physical prostration bear in mind two things one it should be done for your benefit consider what benefit it gives you whether it's to deepen your connection with god to help you stay on the straight path whatever it may be do it for that reason but sujood which as has been described in the quran as we saw today is something else allah needs nothing he doesn't need our prostration everything is for us the second thing through using the word sujood he's telling us for our benefit that sujood is paying attention to the reminders the recitation of god's signs and verses with humility and obeying 